Hey Scorpio, welcome to your bonus reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. Keep in mind this reading is for any Scorpio placement you want to check in on, including any planet or astrological house, whatever it is, you are welcome here. Um, Scorpios, please also keep in mind if you enjoy the reading to leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Um, do keep in mind this is a bonus reading, so this isn't there's no time frame for it. It's just things you need to know at the moment. Um, I haven't been doing bonus readings <laughs> recently because I've just been really busy, but I wanted to show love to those signs that were engaging with my videos a lot more, and you guys were definitely one of them. So thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the reading. Let's get into it. All right, first card we have, respect your physical body, detox, rejuvenate, and relax. Okay, sounds like some of my Scorpios need a vacation, a spa day maybe, or you just need to kind of flush out some things that maybe you've been eating <laughs> that haven't been good for you or ingesting in any way. Uh, maybe you guys have gone a little too hard on the fast food, or maybe you guys have been going out and drinking more, whatever it is, it feels like spirit. Um, your honorable ancestors is asking are asking you to um, give your body a rest. <laughs> it sounds like it needs it a little bit. Let's get into these other two cards, see what you guys need to know. All right, we have Sagittarius. Okay. What else do we have? The eighth house. <laughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. So the 8th house covers sex, the occult, mysteries, inheritances, taxes, property. Um, did I say investments? I think I did. Um, but a lot of intimacy here as well. So some of you guys could be, yeah, some of you guys could be really feeling um, some issues within the body. Now the 8th house is typically associated with Scorpio. Um, and since Scorpio rules the genital area, maybe you guys have been noticing some issues with that area of your body in particular. Um, that may be the first thing to, you know, tell you that something is wrong in the body. You know, I'm not saying it's just strictly sex related, but it could be completely diet related or just not taking care of yourselves. Um, stress can do some weird shit to us too, so... I don't know, um, but if you guys are resonating with that, this is definitely for you. Let's take a look at these last two cards and see what you guys need to know. Oh, we have Yin. Okay, this is the Divine Feminine Energy. Okay, I'm hearing you guys need to balance out your Yin energy. What else? We have the Thinker. Some of you guys may have a lot on your mind right now. I did mention stress. Some of you guys could literally be stressed and it's affecting your body in ways that you're not realizing. So detoxing, okay, stress can show up in a number of ways. It can show up in our eating habits. It can show up in tension in our bodies, aches, pains. It can show up in sickness. It can show up like as a cold, a flu, a fever that kind of pops up out of nowhere. Even though you don't have the virus, it could be a stress cold. Okay, so your body is clearly reacting to things that are going on with you mentally, spiritually, emotionally, um, and you guys need to probably take a look at that and, yeah, hopefully heal this a little bit, especially the Divine Feminine energy coming up. Um, yeah, you guys may have been running on your Divine Masculine for a long time, and Spirit is saying you need to get balanced out again. All right, let's get into the tarot for you guys, spiritual team. Hoodoo Tarot, what messages do you have for the Scorpio Collective? What messages do you have for the Scorpio Collective? What do they need to hear right now? All right, let's get into it. What do we have? Ace of Baskets, Daughter of Baskets, Daughter of Sticks Reversed, Ten of Sticks, Excuse me, three of coins reversed. Let's at the bottom of the deck. Eight of sticks reversed. Mother of coins. Four of baskets reversed. Dr. Grant. And the father of sticks reversed. All right, let's get into these cards. 
All right, Scorpio. So what I'm seeing here in general is a big message of you need to slow down. With the eight of sticks in reverse and the four of baskets reversed, Dr. Grant, daughter of sticks reversed, three of coins reversed, and the father of sticks reversed, it feels like you guys have been running at full speed trying to get something done and it's not really getting you anywhere but <sighs> exhaustion, poor mental health, poor physical health, you're exhausted, you're tired, you're not potentially even putting out the best work that you could be putting out. Um, you know, your mental health could be suffering, your work could be suffering, everything just feels really reckless, it feels um, rapid fire and it feels almost random as well. Your energy is, just feels really scattered. I feel like there's a new opportunity on the way or you've already received a new opportunity. Um, something that could be really creatively based. Um, this could also mean a new relationship as well for some of you, a new romantic relationship starting. And Spirit is essentially saying like, this is going to take off a huge burden off of you. Okay, for example, maybe you've been out of work for a long time, you're getting the opportunity to start a new job. Um, this is telling you to not only slow down, <laughs> Um, because it could affect your work, but relax in knowing that spirit, your honorable ancestors, your spiritual team, whoever has brought this opportunity to you to be a good fit and help lighten the load so you can breathe a little easier. This doesn't mean that you need to speed up and go faster because that could honestly jeopardize this new opportunity. Um, it's like they're saying this this daughter of baskets and this ace of baskets is literally a smooth ride you don't need to worry about it so take your time slow down and definitely prioritize your health both physical mental emotional okay if you can if you haven't started this job yet take some time before you start the job to do absolutely nothing just take care of yourself sleep in go to a spa get a massage you know change up your diet um, start exercising, doing things that not only make you feel good, but are actually good for you and your body. Because it feels like your body is what's being highlighted here the most. Um, I'm here a lot of fatigue and potentially a lot of mental health issues, okay? Um, Dr. Grant is just confirming, again, you need some time to recover and this may have to be alone. Um, so spending time with yourself to really recuperate and make sure you're at your best, your peak performance is going to be really beneficial for you in the long run. It's like, it's, remember, I think this is part of your last week's reading. It's a marathon, not a sprint, Scorpio. You don't want to burn yourself out too early trying to, you know, be everything for everybody or everything for yourself. It's okay, just go with the flow, take it easy, take care of yourself, prioritize that more than anything right now, okay? I feel like that's a pretty clear-cut and dry message for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the final deck of the reading, a tried and true, one of my favorites, the Tea Leaf Oracle deck. Now keep in mind, whatever messages come from this deck could be related, could be completely unrelated to what we've been talking about so far in this reading, just additional things you need to know. All right, spiritual team, tea leaf oracle deck. What final messages do you have for the Scorpio Collective? What final messages do you have for the Scorpio Collective? What do they need to hear right now? That's a lot. <laughs> That's way too many. Let's try again. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to take these two because these are the ones that flipped over. Let's see. Let's try this deck over here or this half of the deck. Come here. I'm really struggling with these nails, so bear with me. All right, spiritual team, what final messages do you have for the Scorpio Collective? All right. I like what I see so far. Excuse me, my nose just started running randomly once I started this reading, so if you hear me sniffling, I apologize. We're almost done, though. All right, let's get into it. First card, Mountain Road. You are on the road to success. Yes, so... 
I feel like Spirit is saying you don't really have anything to worry about because you have a whole team behind you that is sending you beautiful opportunities, but you just, you need to take care of yourself more, okay? Again, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Pace yourself. There's no need to be rushing and wasting all of this energy. What else? We have the dark man. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. This could represent you. This could represent someone else close to you. Maybe it's this opportunity that's coming in. Maybe this is a new boss. Maybe this is a new relationship. Okay, take what resonates. And finally, we have the rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Okay, so it feels like you guys have gone through the fire and now it's time for some rest. It's time for more of this feminine energy instead of chasing we're attracting okay we're resting we're making time for ourselves okay self-care self-love all of that good stuff so don't forget to do that let's take a look at the bottom of each of these piles first up we have the unicorn use your intuition to make beneficial changes okay those are this is for you guys who have issues or having health issues that are showing up due to stress or anything else okay listen to your body. It's trying to tell you things for a reason. Um, it's trying to tell you it needs a change. It needs a shift. You need to detox, whatever. Rest. Okay, at the bottom of this half, we have the key successful outcome to your problems. So don't stress out, Scorpios. Don't stress over this stuff. You guys are going to be just fine. Like I said, I feel like spirit your spiritual team are bringing you opportunities specifically to lighten your load, to make things easier for you so you can finally relax and actually take care of yourself. I love this for you guys. All right, leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. If you want to see more content from me, I am on Instagram, TikTok, I have a blog. All that information on where to find me is below in the description box, as is my website if you want to schedule a personal reading with me. I will be dropping the weekly readings this weekend, so Saturday and Sunday more than likely is my new schedule from now on, I think. Um, so if you want to check those out, go ahead and check those out. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, week, weekend, month, and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Bye!